if you were stalking my channel, you were going to see a lot of videos with similar intros and this outfit, but it's okay. People have been reaching out to me asking about my essays and I thought it would just be easier um, and more accessible if I just put them out on my YouTube channel. So here it is. Uh, before I begin, I'm going to put in this disclaimer that I put in all the other videos as well, which is we don't necessarily know how much the essays factored into my admission decision and something that works for me may not necessarily work for another student. So, you know, look at this more as evidence of someone else's successful experience, but not necessarily the perfect mold of what to emulate when you're applying for a college. So just take this with a grain of salt. I'm just here to offer my own experience so that you can be as informed as you would possibly like. With that said, we're going to get into USC Viterbi. So my Common App essay for USC Viterbi was the same as my Common App essay for BU Engineering, which was about my experience learning freestyle dance for the first time at a dance studio in Germany. I had the same sort of split interest with BU, where I was debating between biomedical engineering and computer science. But um, in both cases, if you apply to one major and get into the engineering schools, then you can um, always change your major later in the freshman year or in your sophomore year. So I ended up going with biomedical engineering for both. Number one. USC faculty placed an emphasis on interdisciplinary academic opportunities. Describe something outside of your intended academic focus about which you are interested in learning. Outside of my intended major, my other passion in life is writing, specifically science fiction. Within the genre, my favorite concept is the multiverse. The idea that there might be more than one universe out there. Although the multiverse is widely embraced by science fiction writers and readers, it is contested in the real fields of mathematics, physics, and philosophy. When I explore ideas about the multiverse, I see it as an opportunity for me to learn about how an interdisciplinary approach can lead to more nuanced thinking. For instance, I want to grapple with Karen Olenbeck's findings in the variational geometry of rolling bubbles so that I can understand how mathematics might explain the multiverse. To understand a physicist's perspective, I want to delve into Brian Greene's nine types of multiverses, each incredibly difficult to dissect. I want to immerse myself in these interdisciplinary ideas about science fiction and the multiverse so that I can better explore questions about what is truly out there, beyond our sight, and how speculation around it exposes who we are and what lies within us, our fantasies and fears. All right, now for the more fun ones, we have the classic describe yourself in three words question. I went with innovative, inquisitive, and compassionate. For the question, what is your favorite snack? I said martabak manis, which is an Indonesian street food thick, spongy pancakes stuffed with chocolate and nuts. For the best movie of all time, I wrote Memento. I don't know if I would still choose this today, but that's what I wrote at the time. My dream job was to be the founder of a digital platform that facilitates creative collaboration. If my life had a theme song, I said it would be the Ant Farm intro, Exceptional by Chana Ann McLean, which is classy. For my dream trip, I wrote that I would like to visit Asakusa and Akihabara in Tokyo. For the question, what TV show will you binge next? I wrote Abstract the Art of Design. And for the question of my ideal roommate, I said Zendaya. I'm sure she'd be an awesome roommate. I feel like there's a lot of other people that I would like to have my roommate, but I think it's still a valid answer. My favorite book at the time was This Book Is Not Good For You from the Secret Series by Pseudonymous Bosch. If I could teach a class on any topic, it would be Universes as Macroorganisms, Smolin's Cosmological Evolution. As you can tell, I was very, very into the idea of multiverses at the time that I wrote this application. Now for some of the Viterbi questions. What do you personally expect to get out of studying engineering or computer science in college? New inventions fascinate me. I am always impressed by the simple ways engineers solve complex problems, such as creating foldable microscopes for developing countries or chewing gum that treats cavities. By studying engineering, I hope to turn my interest into tangible solutions of my own. I specifically want to study biomedical engineering so that I can solve problems in the realm of human health and well-being. I am interested in the replication of human body parts, as in growing artificial limbs and organs for replacement after they are lost. Since immune rejection is an obstacle in person-to-person -person organ transplants, as well as in lab-grown implants, I think forming a deeper understanding of how to efficiently design artificial organs is a major objective in the field. 
I hope to gain this deeper understanding so that I can one day take on the challenge of designing transplantable organs that are affordable to patients in need. In the field of biomedical engineering, I may also encounter many ethical dilemmas, such as patient treatment in the pharmaceutical industry or the morality of cheating life through advances in stem cell research. After studying biomedical engineering at USC, I expect to be equipped with the knowledge to solve society's greatest health problems, as well as have the moral compass to maintain strong ethics that serve to benefit public well-being. Now for a big one that I feel like a lot of people struggle with, it's the engineering grand challenges question. Woo! So personally, I chose clean water, and I feel like that is an obvious choice for a lot of people because it's something that is relatable to almost all people in the world. You know, the quality of your water is really important to you as a human being. I chose to address it a little bit from a different perspective, which was more the social and political implications of what clean water could mean for our world. Here it is. Of the 14 grand challenges, the most important is providing access to clean water. Clean water is a basic need and access to it should be a human right. However, Current access to clean water is dictated by power and wealth, and perpetuates inequality. For instance, around the world, many women and children in developing countries are expected to walk miles every day to bring clean water to their families. This decreases women's opportunities to participate in the workforce and children's opportunities to receive an education, since children often miss school to get water. Unclean water also has a major impact on a community's health. When people get sick from chemical contaminated water or with preventable waterborne illnesses, they often do not have the resources to receive and afford medical treatment. While water has drastic direct effects on humans, it also impacts the well-being of plants, ecosystems, and our food sources. Water is connected to every aspect of human life, from nourishment to society and health. Devising desalination and water treatment methods to create new access to clean water while protecting current access to clean water should be a priority. By creating an accessible and affordable method to produce clean water, and conserving clean water where it is already established, we can break down the barriers that keep the underprivileged and privileged divided. Now I'm going to be looking at that from a little bit more of a critical view since it's been about a year since I wrote that. Um, this time around, I probably would still approach it from a more socio-political perspective, but I think one of the places I would highlight or change now, and I feel like this is more of a personal standpoint thing, is that I noted how having to bring water decreases women's opportunities to work. Um, if I were to be writing this essay nowadays, I would probably not um, focus on how you're prevented from being part of the workforce by not having clean water. There are so many other aspects of a person's life that, uh, you know, not having access to water or having to spend many hours in your day retrieving water can infringe upon and so I, I feel like it did work in the context of this essay but if I were approaching it now I probably would um, change a little bit my phrasing or my intention with that sentence. If you have any additional questions please check out my stats video first because you'll probably find whatever you need to know about my GPA, test scores, uh, classes, extracurriculars, awards, work experience, all that stuff. Um, but if you don't find what you're looking for, then you can always leave me a comment or DM me on Instagram. Uh, if you also have any future video requests or things you want to hear more about, then just leave that in the comments below as well. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.